Hey guys, this is Bharadwaj with Phonorena.com and this is the Lenovo Vibe C that we have been taking a look at recently. We also unboxed and showed you a couple of videos about this. So this Vibe Z is Lenovo's flagship phone. Apart from the hardware features that we showed you earlier, there are also neat software features in this phone. So one of them is the multi-window management like uh, what you have seen on other flagships like Samsung phones. Samsung introduced multi-window management in its Android phones on its TouchWiz user interface. So Lenovo has its own user interface now and also has this multi-window management but it's somewhat different so let's take a look at that. Now uh, as with any other phone you have all these notification toggles here, quick settings which can let you enable various features of the phone. Thankfully, among a lot of features, you have multi-window in the notification drop. You can also add or remove, but we'll keep that for the review. But now multi-window is enabled and you can see a small uh, tab or button here that uh, takes you right to the feature. So this is very similar to the implementation on the uh, Galaxy phones. You just, uh, just do a swipe or just hit that button and you can get a multi-window app from this menu so this practically enables multi-window functionality for every app so that's the big difference between this and samsung's implementation you will see how it works but you can see that in the settings i've added literally every app on the phone i've added 63 applications including games the games don't work but all the apps work so that's a pretty good thing about this multi-window implementation but there are a couple of caveats too but we'll see that if you want the extra apps the ones you install new they will show up here as of now i've selected everything and added to the multi-window feature so every app on the phone supports multi-window right now so let me go back and show you the multi-window app choose it again so clicking on one app will open a miniaturized version of that app to the left side of this phone. So this phone has a 5.5 inch screen, ample amount of real estate to have multi windows. So I've opened the clock app here. As you can see, it's, it works exactly like a miniature app. So uh, there are three controls here. You can close by one click. You can move around, drag the uh, app by using the center button here. And there is also the last button which will directly take you to the app. So let me go back and open another app. So some of these apps are really useful. For example, if you need a recorder and it should be uh, running in the background or even in the foreground, in this miniaturized version, it's pretty good. So you hit the recording, you wanna say something, and then you go into uh, notes or, or probably Evernote and take notes on it, you can still do that. So that's the best thing about the multi-window feature. And you can see that the focus is uh, depending on which app you select in. So for example, the recording is in the foreground now. Now it's in the background. So that's uh, the kind of multi-window implementation they are going for here. Let me show you other uh, apps here, like for example, most popular YouTube. So YouTube is opening on the right hand side. And then you also can open your web browser Again, it'll alternate between the two. You can see uh, how uh, different the implementation is. So this is grabbing focus and then this is grabbing focus that's in instantaneous and you still have the recording running in the background. So uh, pretty much everything just works uh, in this implementation, but the problem is screen real estate. Let me just stop that. And the problem, as I mentioned earlier, is the real estate. You can see that there are no big apps of that uh, divided between the phone's, uh, phone screen in portrait, not in landscape. So that's the problem I see in the multi-window implementation. And with uh, Lenovo smart screen rotation, it doesn't even utilize uh, Lenovo no launcher. This allows uh, rotation in the home screen. So that's uh, one thing we noted. So you can still have a bigger version of these apps. For example, let me choose a focus here and drag them down. You can see uh, that I can still uh, drag and enlarge the window here, but it enlarges according to the ratio of the screen and not you know, 
the free enlargement that you can do with Samsung's implementations. So you can see how the focus changes with, between the two apps here. So that's pretty cool. And all the apps functionality is exactly the same. There is no limited functionality. You, everything that you see is exactly the same. So there you go. That's the multi-window implementation on the Lenovo Vibe C. It's pretty useful if you have uh, selected apps. The best thing about this implementation is that every app from the phone works with the multi-window feature. So that's the uh, feature on the Lenovo Vibe C for you. That's about it for the video. Do the like button if you like it and do the subscribe button if you want more stuff like this from our channel. Thanks for watching.